Iranian-born physicist Manisha Razigi has already changed the world with the laser that carries the internet under the sea and the new tech inside airport body scanners. But she's not finished. He said, my gosh, please, wait, don't kill me. Let me to finish to see the result before to go home. <laughs> the unique forms of light created in Razigi's world-class quantum devices lab at Northwestern University are about to power two more world-changing technologies, a super-speed wireless internet and a laser that can make explosives shine through luggage and clothes. So I get married at the age of uh, the 15 years old. I got my high school with the three children, but at the same time, continuing exactly and never missing even one hour, neither from school nor from my duty as a mother. Rizegi never gave up on education, and by her early 20s, against unbelievable odds, the mother of three was studying nuclear physics at Tehran University on a path to change the world with laser light. What's the difference between a radio wave, a microwave, and sunshine? Believe it or not, it's all the same stuff, light, photons moving through space. But here's the difference. Notice this photon oscillating as it travels. The faster the oscillation, the higher the frequency. That's it. Radio waves, visible light, x-rays, and beyond, everything on the electromagnetic spectrum from left to right is just light moving at increasing frequencies. We use different frequencies of light to transmit wireless data. Now here's a key point. Higher frequencies generally mean faster wireless data speeds. So how fast can we go? Gamma waves have the highest frequency. They could allow downloading of thousands of full-length movies a second. But whoops, all light rays from gamma down to UV damage our bodies and don't travel well in the atmosphere. So what's left? Well, forget visible light, that's the sun's territory and we're already broadcasting on these slower frequencies, so transmitting faster than we transmit today leaves us here, below infrared, but above microwaves, in a section called the terahertz spectrum. In the 1980s, producing terahertz light signals could only be done with an ultra-cold temperature laser, impractical for communications outside of a research facility. Many scientists thought this was the end of the line for terahertz communication. Working at the Exploratory Materials Lab at defense contractor Thompson CFS in Orsay, France, Rizigi thought otherwise. Is the, all of the, the secret of the science is in the periodic table. And that's exactly where she turned. Using a semiconductor called indium phosphide, she eliminated the need for cold temperatures, shocking her colleagues with a room temperature laser that made terahertz transmission practical for the first time. They said that in one year you are going to become famous in the world. Everywhere they wanted to have me, especially, especially in the United States, for this technique because it's for changing everything. Currently, a German laser system based on Rizigi's work operates at a speed capable of transmitting roughly 13 HD feature films in a second. But there's more. Just as X-ray light penetrates most soft tissue and bounces off hard bone, some terahertz frequency light penetrates suitcases and makes explosives shine. Pioneered in Rizigi's lab, devices smaller than a shoebox can see bombs and other volatile chemicals in luggage and beneath clothes. These devices can be made cheaply and are easily installable at airports, on buses and subways, and at stadium turnstiles. After more than 30 years of engineering groundbreaking quantum devices, Rizigi is still riding the waves toward future discoveries propelled by the same sources of energy that have fueled one of the most impressive careers in communications physics. Curiosity. Curiosity. Passion. That's it. To have, really, again, passion for to understand something and the curiosity. That's the two elements. Nothing else. <laughs>